Join us on the channel today for more Drop Zone Commander, the Shautari vs the UCM. Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Dan. Me, Sophie. And me, Alex. And today we're playing some Drop Zone. Yeah. Got it in <laughs> I talked myself into this and I got it right. <laughs> and you're playing how many points? 1750. That's all I right. said. Yes, okay, 1750, yes. 1750. And <laughs> uh, we've got some new armies on the channel. So, uh, Alex, what are you bringing? Bringing UCM as always, but loads of new toys. Uh, last time we played, I think it was like a starter box and a few extras. Now I've got new commanders, new armor, loads of stuff. And Sophie, you've got something completely different. Yes, so I am borrowing the Shaltari from our good friend Lawrence uh, from the Bristol Gaming Collective. Um, and I'm really looking forward to running them because he's also beaten me up with this list quite a few times. Yeah, and I'm nice. like, ah, now I get to have a go at it. So if I lose, it's just, it's because it's me. Yes, yeah. it's a skill issue. <laughs> it's entirely a skill issue and it's nothing to do with the list because this list is really solid. Speaking of lists. Let's go do them. Let's go do them. Okay, so the lists. Uh, yeah, I've got a lot of new toys to go through with this. Uh, some of which I've never run. So I'm looking forward to see what they, see what they do. Uh, where shall we begin? Let's start with the HQ battle group. So in the HQ battle group, I have a Kodiak, which is the orbital strike commander. <laughs> so he's just a big satellite dish, uh, infinite range, energy 13, blast template, um, coming down from space, which would be fun. That sounds uh, like cheating. I know, right? Uh, he is a level one commander. I've also got a level two commander in my Ferrum drone base. Uh, the otherwise known as the Drop Fridge Commander. Uh, <laughs> this thing launches drones, which can do anti-air, they can scout, uh, it can make as many as it wants, it can only have eight in play at a time, but I can just spawn more over and over and over. Uh, and he's my actual commander, again, only level two to try and make it work points-wise. Uh, also in that battle group, I've got a pair of Archangel Tactical Bombers. These are my fire bombers. So they are in the list to burn out heavy infantry, which I'm going to need, because we have a lot of them. What else have we got? So that's the HQ. So then we've got two frontline battle groups. The first one is two squads of Praetorian Spec Ops, my special forces, my elite infantry. Uh, each squad is a squad of two bases and they are in Raven troopships. The second frontline is the Plastic Platoon, which is two squads of two legionnaires in a pair of bears in a condor. Um, cheap, reliable, boring for grabbing objectives. For our armour, we have two armour battle groups because I have two albatrosses, which is, uh, I, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Well, I'm not going to do anything interesting, I'm going to drop my stuff off, they look cool. Is albatrosses the plural or is it albatry? I think it's albatrodes. Albatros? It's, like, it's like platypus, platypi. Albatrice. Albatrice, yes, yeah, like geese. Uh, so I have two albatrice. In the first armour battle group, uh, we have one albatross, we have three katana light tacks with flamethrowers, we have a broadsword. A, sorry, a broadsword super heavy tank with Myth Slayer Railgun, to give it its full name. Uh, that is my problem solver. That's just there to pick something on the other side of the board and delete it, in theory. It's one shot, twos and twos, so it's going to miss. Uh, and then we have three rapiers, uh, and again, they're all travelling around in Albatross number one. In the second armour battle group, we have three sabres. We have a pair of gladius, gladii, gladiodes. Gladioli. 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 Yes. It's like ravioli. <laughs> uh, we have two Gladius heavy tanks with rail guns, and we have three rapiers in that battle group as well. They are travelling around in Albatross number two. We've got a pair of vanguards. One of them, this is a dirty little trick I picked up from the tournament we recently ran. This is a single longbow artillery piece in a Raven dropship, and it can just land, fire smoke at one of my own units to take them minus two and just do that every turn for like 50 points and a cheap battle group. Mm. And the last battle group is two squads of mortars. These are genuinely some of the best units in the game, I think. Uh, they're really hard to kill, they're long range, they don't care about penalties to hit, and they're aerial weapons with Benedictive. They can hurt literally anything. 
Uh, so two squads of Praetorians, no, not Praetorians, two squads of mortars traveling around in a vulture. It does have the anti-air missiles, but I couldn't afford them, so it doesn't have them for this game. That is it. So that is seven battle groups and 1750 points on the nose. There's some scary stuff in there. Okay. And um, yes, I, I, with the with the Kodiak, mm. energy 13, ignoring passives, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, if it misses, it's an indirect hit, so it's only energy 11, so it loses the low passives. They do have to actually hit you to do it. Still. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Okay, let's get on with some Shiltari shenanigans and goodness. So we will start off with my commanders. So we have the, um, and you will excuse me, I'm going to be a little bit slow on this because it is my first time running the Shaltari, so I've got to remember what everything's called. Uh, and I'm going to mispronounce it, but that's on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the uh, Daimyo Battlesuit um, commander, level one. Um, he's going to be enjoying uh, some Ronin company. Definitely didn't mean to say enjoying, but he's, he's going to have fun nonetheless. <laughs> So he's got the web gun, which can draw infantry out of a building, which yeah, is... Uh, like that's tall. <laughs> yeah, it's quite interesting. I had to reread that a few times. And it's very funny. It's, yes. it's very funny. Um, so he'll be with some Ronin. Um, I also have a Lynx Chief Strider um, over here. This is it's just a good walker. Level four commander. Level four? Yes. Oof, okay. Um, so, yeah, a lot of points there. If I can nab him on objective, he might be worth quite a few points. Um, and he's got his three-up passive, which I can then boost. Um, yeah, so that's that's why I'm scared of the MG13. <laughs> the broad squad, I um, in that battle group, I've also got two squads of... Um, why is it units or squads in drop zone? Uh, it's a squad of two units. Ah, that's right. And they are war spirit receptors. Yes, so I've got um, two units, two squads. Um, Four units, two squads. Thank you. <laughs> it's two units of two squads. Oh god, I'm getting a headache. It's happening again. <laughs> okay, on to my first armor battle group. We have a uh, Adamar gun git. Um, I'm quite excited for the gun gates. Mm. I quite like when I've been theory crafting. I kind of want a whole gun gate list. So I kind of <laughs> want to see how this does. Um, we have one bird eater um, battle walker, and we have two tarantula battle walkers. Very good anti armor, um, and can call on the buildings. We then have a second armor battle group um, with an Eden Great Gate um, and the Zion Gate Spire. And this will also have um, two tarantulas um, in the battle group. We've also got the Jaguar War Strider um, and the Dream Snare Shield Strider, which is my shield boosting. Say that again. My Dream Snare Shield Strider. Once more, fast. Dream Snare Shield Strider. <laughs> Zack Snyder's Dream Slider? Yeah, instead of looking up rules, I just practiced <laughs> my pronunciation of the dreams. Zack Snyder. <laughs> is that, that Zack Snyder's Dream Spire? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one's cinemas. <laughs> okay, on to my first frontline battle group. We've got three squads um, of brave war suits, each with two units. Nice. <laughs> and we've got the two Haven Terror Gates um, and one Eden Gate in that as well and then for my last two vanguard um we've got one unit one squad of three rodin um, with one of the light spirit gates and then we've also got well that's replicated um with the other one and they have the bio atomizers and energy blades so the melee loadout on both of them yes oh, cool chop chop yeah and that is 1750 points bang on with a level four commander hmm. Right, so we'll be back once we've set up the mission and we'll explain it all to you at home. So, okay, we have set up the board. Alex, take us through the, the MDF board as Oh well. yes, this is new to us, isn't it? Or new for the channel. Yeah, it's a big board of MDF. Um, yeah, I've worked on this for like several months. I'm sure I've talked about it in like keg chats, but it's finally done. It's fully painted. I spent two weeks of my finite life painting road markings. Um, yeah, really happy how it came out. Uh, it adds so much to this, adds it to Titanicus as well. Mm -hmm. We've got the verticality, it look, looks really cool, really happy with it. We've got bridges, you can drive bridges. under can the over. bridges. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a sunken courtyard, etc. <laughs> 
And on the table we have... A roundabout. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and we have eight more boards under the table as well, so we can even do a six by four if we want to at some point. Mm. Um, so yeah, this will be in probably most of our Titanicus games. Definitely most of our Drop Zone games. And I might want to get more for it as well. Yeah. Because there's more coming as well. But anyway, that later. New board. Hooray. Board. Uh, what's Mission. Next? Mission. Mission. We are playing Reversal. This is a mission from, I think, one of the Reconquest books. I'm not sure if it's publicly available, but it's a very cool one. Four by four board. Uh, deployment is along the well, along opposite board edges, and we have object hidden mobile objectives in these three buildings along here, this one here, and this one here. Each of the red ones is worth one victory point if you hold it at the end of the game, or two victory points if you take it off your own board edge. Same, yeah, standard drop zone. This one is a nuke. The nuke has to be found like any other objective. Uh, if you find it, it's worth one, <laughs> one victory point. <laughs> this isn't a document at all. This is a what? This isn't a porcelain cat. <laughs> I have acute radiation poisoning. <laughs> oh no. Um, so, worth one victory point if you hold it at the end of the game, same as normal. Worth four victory points if you could take it off the opponent's board edge and into their, uh, their HQ. So, yeah, you want to drive it through their lines. There is another option. Uh, if the nuke is destroyed, either from the building being destroyed, or a unit that's carrying it in the building being destroyed, or an aircraft that's carrying it being destroyed, it detonates. Everything within 2d6, 2D6 inches of the nuke is destroyed. No passives, no damage rolls, goes for buildings as well, so they will then also collapse. Um, it should be very funny if it happens. Ray. Finally, there is a special rule, I uh, can't remember its name, I think it's Last Stand or something. Uh, infantry holding the objective can spend both their actions to detonate it on purpose. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> so it's not going to get off the opponent's board edge, you can use it just to level the table. Your opponent? Like, yeah. <laughs> and just bring the game to a swift end. It's like Batman at the end of the third film. <laughs> Uh, so that's it. Uh, deployment obviously is off the board because it's drop zone. But we always did the thing where we went, oh, let's start deploying, and we don't do that. We have rolled for sides. Mm -hmm. You won, you wanted this side. Maybe so we can show off Florence's beautiful army rather than just looking at it from behind. Uh, so roll off for priority for turn one. Yes. And so this roll is a six. I like this roll. Mine is a four. So would you like priority? Do you want to give it to um, me? I will give it away to you. Makes sense. So, so if and Alex have done some moving, things have happened, things are everywhere. It's always the way, isn't it? It drops in turn one and it's just, I do this, why do this, why do this, and no, not many shots actually get fired. There's some minor damage on some buildings. Y yeah, what do we need to summarise? Okay, so, um, I suppose going through... <laughs> where everything is. Where everything is. Yeah. So, I moved on, my first activation was infantry, moved into the buildings, um, kind of chucked some war suits. I think that's what they're called, brave suits. Yep. They're very brave anyway. Um, into the buildings, you chucked your mortars. I did. So their vultures landed behind the building. The mortars are set up in there. They can threaten most of the boards. And you can find the objective, hopefully. Lovely. And then you dropped your Kodiak and um, drone. Yes. So the Kodiak is hiding down there. So at least from any non-aircraft, I should be fairly well hidden. And yeah, my drone base is right at the back. Um, it spat out a squad of drones. My Star Sprite drones flew over to here. Uh, they shot the building, they did a point of damage to it. But more importantly, they are scout and line of sight over on that side of the board. Mm -hmm. What did you do? The order I can't quite remember, yeah. but what else have you so, done? So, um, I then did my two Ronin groups. Um, so we've got a transport right behind this building, um, and we've got a transport over here. So i kind of got my Brave Suits on this objective, my Ronin kind of threatening these objectives. Yeah. We'll see how that turns out. Now, obviously, they don't have to come out of there, because you can come out of your havens with your Ronin if you want. That's right. So they're not actually there, but the mm. gates are there. Um, I stalled. Uh, my Praetorian Spec Ops are waiting off the board. I activated them to sort of punt it back to you and make you do something. Yeah, because then it was back on with my armour, and I've activated my gun gate and armour group here. So I've got two Tarantulas um, sitting at the back here. Um, with my gun gate, I just wanted to get them on the board mm -hmm. um, and sort of threatening, again, this side of the board. Yep. Uh, I believe I responded then with my second armour battle group, so coming out of Albatross number two. We landed there, disembarked with the Gladii and the Sabres and the Rapiers. 
The rapiers made a lot of noise but didn't accomplish anything. Mm -hmm. uh, the, between the sabers and the gladii, I managed to do a point of damage and a collateral to the building and did manage to crit that, but you made a passive, so the anti air walker is still alive. Um, and then I popped down here, took some shots at the bears, transports, and flamed weapons, so I've done one point of damage to one of the infantry. I killed a guy and set yep. the building mildly on fire, and there's only a nuke, so no need to worry. That's fine. Um, and then chucked some uh, Gauss cannon shots, not doing much. Indeed. Um, obviously, my infantry ended up here first. Uh, <laughs> my condor landed there, bears drove over here, infantry jumped out, moved to, jumped in, to stand on that nuke and force you to do something about it. Well, I am parked awfully close to it if it goes off. Mm. Didn't think about that. Um, which I did before you did that, because then obviously you shot at the building. Uh, my armour came in. So the second armour battle group, we've hopped out with the rapiers. Again, we took some shots at the building, did a point of damage. Katanas popped smoke. A bit late for it to be relevant this round, but they're in position. Very glad you have no area weapons. Mm. <laughs> it's be very claustrophobic otherwise. Uh, and I've got my broadsword, which will be my final shot of the round. I think the only, thing I, the only other thing I did, because I've got more battle groups than you. Oh, sorry, yes, you did that. Yeah, so my HQ, I'm trying to spread out. I don't want those area weapons dropping on all my walkers at the same time. So I've tried to keep them separate, mm -hmm. and I chucked a couple of shots down um, at the rapiers. rapiers. That's it. Um, again, achieving nothing. Yeah. My last activation, again, the broadsword was actually last. We'll fire him in a second. I landed my longbow here. And just to make sure my bears didn't die, fired smart smoke at them as well. But again, end of the round, so it doesn't really matter. But we've got one shot left, haven't we, Alex? We have. So that broadsword has disembarked. I've unfortunately not got a line of sight to the shield strider, but I have to the jaguar. So I'm going to try and pop it. One shot, hitting on a one, hitting on a three, because I disembarked. Mm -hmm. Is that stable there? More or less. More or less. Cool. Stable enough. On a three? No. It's a one. It's a one. Hooray. Should I do some collaterals quickly? Yes. Uh, what We've have got, we got? Two. Yeah, so, so bring a dice tray back. Well, no. Nope. Uh, nope. Collateral goes away. And this one in the middle? Yep. Uh, that will be an eight, so it'll be a point of damage to each squad in the building. Oh, so yeah. they will go to having taken two. If I can have one more dice. Mm -hmm. One squad over there takes the rock to the head. Bonk. And the collateral token goes away. And I think that is. This it. one up here? No, that's damage. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, so red dice for dog. We've got these little collateral tokens. Yes. C for collateral. collateral. And what we're going to do is we're going to swap that out for a red dice so I don't get confused. Perfect. So, red dice for damage to buildings, blue dice, maybe green dice, debatable, for damage to units. And the big and... red ones are edible. Yeah. Mm, Please don't eat the tasty. dice. Tasty. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> crunch, crunch, crunch. You eat the dice, at least bring your own dice to the game. And we've got these tiny dice that are absolutely no way visible on camera. Appetizers. Right? You should never roll these because I found one with two fives on them. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of ones that have got two can threes I, on as well. Can I, can I have that one for your initiative roll, please? <laughs> no. Because oh, okay, uh, that's where we are now, is the initiative roll, isn't yes, it? Yes, nice segue. So you're on plus four, I'm on plus two. Mm -hmm. After you. Okay. Uh, six will always win. So I will take priority and figure out what I'm doing. So we're into turn two. We've done some bits of movement. Alex has used a card. All is gravy. What's happened? So I drew Shock Assault, played it immediately, and I fired my Smart Smoke from my Longbow at the Broadsword. So the Broadsword is minus two to hit, as is anything within two inches of it for the rest of the round. Uh, maybe not best use, but I've only got two command cards at a time, so I need to play it rather than hold it, I think. My actual battle group activation was then my Armoured Fist, which is only really a single shot, but it's a big one. We have activated the Albatross that's moved over to... where's it gone? Over to here. We activated the Condor that's moved over to here, maybe evac for these. The Bears scuttled out of the way, and the Armour moved forward. The Katanas rumbled forward and popped smoke as well, so everything within two of them is also minus two to hit. It does stack, but it's not currently overlap. The Rapiers have moved up to try and get my anti-air denial closer to the middle of the board, and then the Broadsword. Broadsword's moved over to here to have a clear line of fire at the Shield Strider. That's so, nice Shield Strider. Yep. <laughs> Accuracy 1, so hitting on a 2. That's a hit. Mm -hmm. Energy 13. Uh, I'm a 14, I believe. So a 2 to hurt, 3 to crit. That is a regular point of damage with Devastator 3, so 3 damage. Lovely, so it's still alive. That's irritating. Um, but it's taken 3 hits. Yeah. 
And that's the battle group done. Very good. So my first activation, um, we've got the gun gate coming over. Um, we've got a single energy 11 shot. Yeah, this, um, this one rapier. This one rapier. Because what I've then done is then I've chucked my four um, interceptors down here. I really want to get rid of that drone um, operator. And yep. this rapier will be the only one in range if it survives. Yes. yes. So um, this is hitting on twos. It hit. is a hit. Uh, energy 11. So fours. That will kill it. That will kill a rapier. Okay. And that will mean that my rapiers are not within range to react to those four war spear interceptors. Mm -hmm. Before we go into them, what's the rest of the battlegroup done? So, um, I've just had one Eden Gate uh, activate. It's popped up here. It's ready with that atmosphere to react to a drone. Yeah. Um, if they're still there in a second. Yeah. Uh, the tarantulas moved out of line of sight of those um, things on the road in the middle. And then we've, again, we've sort of moved out of line of sight here, ready for those to, to move up. Um, see if we can do something. <laughs> yeah. The shooter building, maybe? Yeah, they might. So those interceptors are going to go within range of the Ferrum drone base's anti-air weapons. They're not very good. Uh, two shots, accuracy three, fires for reaction fire, evasion more than one. Evasion five. Yes, so looking for sixes. That is a hit. Mm -hmm. Energy six. Uh, armor ten. Armor ten, so a four. That will be a point of damage. You have a passive. Oh, I do. I do. Yeah. I'm Shaltari, yes. aren't I? Yes. That's what you get for forgetting. Yeah. Uh, the crash line won't hit anything, so yeah. it is just removed. That is now fewer shots into my commander. Yes, uh, but we are doing the gauss shots into the commander. Um, so I'm just going to do them all at the same time. I can't kill... I need all three to, to go through to yeah. kill them. Um, so that's going to be three hits. Okay, on Eng 12. Energy 10. Um, so that will be two crits. Okay, so he has a single hit point remaining. Lovely. So the only weapons those interceptors have? It is because they are alt, uh, alt one. Ah, okay. Only yeah. wanted the anti armor, run the anti air. Yeah, exactly. Wasn't sure if they had another gun that could shoot this building. Yeah. Um, these walkers, however, eighteen inch range. I don't think they're going to be in in range of that. But oh, they are. One is within range of what? My house. The building. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to put one shot into the building. Again, apologies um, for me constantly looking up data sheets. This is new army to save. Yes. So we've got one shot which hits on a two, and it's, yeah, it's not Devastator. So it will just be the one hit. Um, why am I rolling small dice? It's a <laughs> collateral. And a damage. And a damage. Oh, yeah. So red dice for damage, little token for collateral. Yes. For those watching at home. Successful turn. Just you as all of you. Unless... Those watching in other places, get out of the garden, Dave, in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done? Yes. Okay. <laughs> With your turn and just in general. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, I need to think about what I'm doing next. So, it's more turn two-ing. Uh, Alex. Yes. Go. Uh, my commander you... is in peril. Um, danger. Danger. Fridge in danger. I can't save him this turn. That was a mistake in terms of the placement of the albatross. But fair enough. I am activating my armor battle group. I have also declared I'm going to activate that albatross there. It's moved over there so I can be back next turn if I get the chance. And the Vulture is also just taken off and hidden as well. Uh, the actual command battle group itself, the Kodiak is going to try and finish off the Shield Strider. So one shot. Uh, the Scouts can see you perfectly fine, so hitting on a three. Thank you. That's a hit. Mm -hmm. Energy 13. That is going to be a kill. Yes. On a 16. Splat. Because the wee easel. Yes. Um, well done, Kodiak. Um, where, where next? Um, We've moved with the commander. Um, Backwards. Yes. Oh, my drones. Uh, these four drones here are going to shoot at the gate in front of them. Mm -hmm. So four shots, accuracy three. Thank you. Uh, that will be three hits at energy six. Your armor nine, three That's hits. That's correct. So I do need two to go through. So I'm going to boost one up to energy eight and do one energy six. Okay. The energy eight is going to do nothing. Energy oh, yeah. six is going to do nothing. Hooray! Um, they will then not bother to move, because you can only fire your thing in reaction fire, so there's no point giving you a free shot. And I've launched four more drones, which I've put there. Lovely. So they are within scout range of a few options, if I live. Mm. Uh, that is the battle group done. Lovely. So um, I then activated my commander group. Um, I'm just going to chuck a couple of shots down into that lead rapier. Mm -hmm. um, so this is just going to be hitting on twos. Uh, so it's going to be one hit. Short how well you can see this. Not very. 
Um, that's okay because it's no. Nope. No. Nope. It's okay. going to be nothing. You guys need to stop rolling with so many ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anything else? That is the commander group. Okay, so I'm, I have activated my infantry battle group. I've brought in my ravens. They have gone 16 forward, landed, and then 16 because they got rapid insertion 4 on Spec Ops, who then disembarked within 2, moved 2, ended within 2, I put all 4 of them in the building there. So I'm really trying to swamp the board with crap infantry. <laughs> Very good. So um, then I'm then going to activate my armor group. So we're just going to move four inches. We're going to oh no! We're going to try and scuttle away. Um, you can move up to six if you want to be on the road. Yep. Yeah. You, you do the whole movement on the road plus two inches. Yeah. I, it's it, kind of much for muchness, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put our fling weapons oh, over no. here. I believe I can see the nearest one. Yeah, I think you see it pretty clearly. Move. Looks you, like if it. you go a bit more that way, you've got clear line of sight. There we go. Yep. I certainly have the movement. We're going to put our rail guns into there, and we're going to put our AA into the nearest drone. Okay. Um, so we'll start off with the AA. Okay. Actually, no evasion. No, they I'm not. They are small aircraft. They don't crash land, just so you're aware. Yeah. Um, I'm not. The reason I'm not is because I'm just going to keep it as a threat for your bombers. Yeah, makes sense. Um, That's much more sensible. So we're not actually going to do that. We are going to put our rail guns into the nearest transport. Okay. Um, and by that I mean, what are they called? They are Raven Light Troop Ships. Yes, into the Raven Light Troop Ships. And just remove that transport capability. So, it is um, one shot with strip two. Oh, so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put one on each. Yeah. Yeah. They're both in range, aren't they? Yeah. yeah cool. Uh, so, the nearest one. It's going to be a hit. It's going to be a 15. That will give it. Bang. And then the next one. That won't be a hit. Um, Which won't kill it. But the flamers are going to go into this. The undamaged base in yes. the squad. Okay. I'm going to get greedy. Um, so, fine. Let me double check. I've got the stats right in front of me. You don't go anywhere. Uh, twin heavy bio atomizers. I don't atomize my biology. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do it. Um, six shots, energy five. So that is going to be four hits. Mm -hmm. Four hits. Uh, two's to hurt, four's to crit. That will be uh, their dead base. Woof! And then collateral damage taken on the building, which is shot a flame weapon at it. Flame weapon. Yes. In flame. Is it per weapon or per hit? Uh, per weapon that you fire. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then the tarantulas are coming out. I, I've got this weird thing today where I'm mispronouncing things on purpose. Now, your broadsword is. Um, large, isn't it? So it can never get. It, it's not large, weirdly. Oh. And it, it, it also has smart smoke on it, so minus two to hit. Yeah. So you're minus four if you fire it this turn. Yeah, I'm going to, because why not? Yeah. I am within 18, just double checking. I'm definitely going to get out within that gate. And then our own units don't block line of sight. There's no way I can avoid that Kodiak. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hit you on. Dun dun dun! Sixes! Because cool. I'm minus four total. Yep. Um, so, one shot apiece. Nothing. Oh, okay. Are you done? I am quite done. Right, it's time for another thing, I think. <laughs> so, it's more turn two. Yeah. Turn two, 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 turn two. Turn two, part three, I believe. Yes. Um, Alex's armour has moved up here. Yes. Uh, Why has it moved up? Here. I need to kill the spirit gate because it's, I was going to say it's full of Ronin. It's not, but it could be. <laughs> um, so, my rapiers have moved up. We're going to try and shoot down that spirit gate. My sabers and gladii are going to try and kill your commander. I don't expect them to, but it would be nice. Mm. Have a nice trip, please. Go on then, I'll treat you. Thanks, buddy. So, six shots hitting on threes. Okay, so that is good start. MG7, armor nine. Mm -hmm. So, twos to hurt, fours to crit. So that will be two, four, uh, six, seven damage. Onto that gate. Onto that gate. Seven passives. Oh, seven passives, right. Oh, no, okay, it fails yeah. the first one. <laughs> um, what happens? Uh, two inch blast radius. Yes. Energy 10 hits. So we'll hit your building. So it will hit the bird walker. The bird walker? The no, not time. quite. Centre to centre, it's actually yeah. got to be quite close, but it will hit the building. Cool. Two energy 10 hits. Oh, no, that's my building. That's <laughs> what. We shall see. So that is going to be two, two and yeah, collaterals. Yep. Oh, two damage, damage and two crits. It's so strange playing this without the intent to bring down buildings. 
Because if I if my resistance was here, there'd be no buildings. I know, yeah. <laughs> this would be gone. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. And therefore, this would be gone. Exactly. Can I have a battery again, please? Go on, then. I'll treat you. And I'll even remove my model as an extra favour. Aren't yeah. I bloody nice? Such a sporting player. <laughs> um, so, Gladii, four railguns into your commander. Mm -hmm. Hitting on one, so two. So that's four hits. Oh, no. Energy 10, armour 14. Yes. That will be one damage. Okay, three up passive. He's got a three up passive too. He's got a three up passive Ooh, too. We'll have to Kodiak him. Mm. <laughs> uh, so you're fine, and then the three rail guns from the Sabres. That is three hits. Fours to hurt you. That will be four damage. Um, three it's damage. Two crits. Oh, is it two crits? Yeah. He's armed 14. One crit, three yeah. damage. Three damage, there we go. Um, I do take two damage. Oh. Uh, so that was me staring down. Railguns thinking I'll be fine with my three up passive, but actually. Was not in fact fine. Was not in fact fine. You've rolled three up saves before, yeah, this goes. Yeah, but I've also failed three up saves before, so we know how well, that goes. Yeah. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, that's the matter of done. Over to you. Okay, wonderful. So, what I'm going to do in retaliation, um, I'm actually just going to move this 10 inches and sit, uh, sit in the middle. Um, Outranging my anti air as yeah. well. Yeah, so we pre measured this to check. Yeah. Are you coming into my building? I am. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. So, and then... It's so snook now. It is. It is indeed. Well, Soph wants it to be her nook. <laughs> Do you want to be my nook? Um, there we go, and that's that group. Okay. Are we within 24 inches there? Yes. Mm. So I could have my mortar shoot at your commander. Mm -hmm. It's not a terrible choice, really, because just fish up the sixes and then whoever you roll ones and twos. Exactly. Uh, it's got how many hits left? Two. Two. Okay. That isn't a bad idea. What else can we do? They are probably just going to try and shoot the Ronin. They might even leave. <laughs> let you have it. Uh, get back in the bears and try again later. Uh, we'll burn you out. We could burn you out. What have you got left to activate? You've got your other uh, vanguards. Yeah. And my brave horse suits. Yeah, who are probably going to not contribute a great deal. <laughs> they might find the objective. <laughs> so we'll fire. Um, let's go with the mortars. If I can kill your commander, that could be big. So we are three shots per base. Mm -hmm. So six shots per squad, doing squads one at a time. Uh, I cannot see you, so I'm hitting on fives. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't care, because it's got a Okay. So anything but ones will be some sort of hit. There are two ones there, so that'll be four hits. Uh, they are only energy four. Uh, sorry, energy six. They can't hurt you either way, but six as well. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. So that's three. That's three. That's three. Alex and his loaded dice. Yeah. I am indeed dead. Sophie and my loaded dice. Well, well that is my commander. So you now discard cards until you only have cards remaining equal to your remaining commander value, which is one. Yes. Discard the cards. Okay. Um, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, there are a bunch of good cards that you should have played earlier. Not that I should have played, that I was saving. Ah, uh, okay. Fair enough. Um, but do you know what? This is this is kind of a learning lesson. New army, you're thinking, okay, this is this is great. And then... But it's not great. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the other, the other base of mortars, well, those guys are overachieved. So we could... Uh, what's better? Try and go for an area attack here, on the thing I can see. Or try and finish him off. Um, is that a battle group gone? Because um, your daimyo joins yes. your vanguard, so that's also an activation move. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm not going to roll that many sixes again. I'm going to go into the bird eater of the other base, mm -hmm. the squad. So again, six shots. Can I have some dice? Yeah, no, you can't have those dice back. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I can't see you, so fives. So. Um, we'll armor 13. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll hit. Armor 13 can't hurt either. Six as can. Uh, one damage. One the passive, please. Oh, very nice. We are okay. On cool. five. And that is the bunker done. Lovely. So, for my next trick, uh, we will be flying in over here, landing there, and chucking some Ronin at oh, you. Oh, leave me alone. And this will be my... Daimyo. Dynamo, Dynamo, Dynamo. Dynamic Mo. Dynamic Mo. That's a friend for one. He doesn't have any friends. 
He's a Ronin. He's a Lonin. <laughs> These guys are only with him because they have to be. Yeah. Not by choice. I can't stand, though. No, I can't stand. Look at that. <laughs> there we go. So we've got the Ronin in there. That's a problem. It squirtingly is. That's a, that's a huge problem. Hmm. Do you want to do something in your infantry, Alex? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, we can leave safely if you don't outnumber us in terms of units. But we you could also shoot the Ronin. Them. We could also shoot the Ronin. They will do no damage. They might do one. They will do no significant <laughs> damage to the Ronin. Um, I've knocked over the news. <laughs> Read How will we get our news, Alex? <laughs> Read all about it. So, the bigger squad are in the back one, they're in number two. The one that has a number two in it has two bases in it. Now do you have to roll because you're outnumbered? Ooh, that's a good point. Mm. So it would be a fortitude test. Can you pass me my last face down command? No card, face down. Thank you. Um, I'm yeah, yeah, I'll play it now because I think otherwise it's a nurse of steel, it would map pass. Yeah. If you put that underneath the box, please. So they escape. Better or worse. And I'll activate the incendiary bombers at the same time. Uh, they are going to. Can you get in those bears? Wow. You've activated them with a different battle group. Ooh. You can't get in them. Oh, I'll get back in the building then. Have get back in that building. I don't want to go back in the building. Or go stand out in the open. Or go stand out in the open. It's That's up to you. also an option. One is less bad than the other. In the building, you are preventing the Ronin from searching. That's true. You are at least a slight speed bump. <laughs> That's true. Um, let's try and shoot some round. So we energy three, your armor nine, so I'm looking for sixes. Uh, we are reduced two, so we have two shots from the dying base, most dying base. We're going to just. Three shots. Uh, nope, because the last guy has a rocket launcher. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Which you can't fire in the building. Mm. Yes. Unfortunately. So sixes. No. Sorry, no. Uh, the other squad will be four shots and then three. Can I have one more dice, please? Yeah. Say so, yeah. no. No. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> That's mean it. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Uh, oh. No damage there. You should just roll better. Very good, very good. Um, Alright, well, I've just got my brain so and brave. the transports to go with them. Um, <coughs> what we're going to do... Oh, sorry, before you do, is that my last battle group? Oh, your fighters. So my, my bombers, bombers. are activate them as well, if that's okay. Yeah, that's, that's perfectly fine. Uh, who do I want to burn out more? I should probably try to burn you out of the nuke. So, we want to avoid your fighters. You obviously can't reaction fire this turn. Um, but the Jaguar hasn't AA fired yet. Do not worry about him. What, range 18? Yeah. And the birdie? Duh. And the bird eater. Who can eat the birds? Yes. Nom 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 nom. I need my birds. I need my birds. Tasty, tasty. We come at the shallow angle here. Avoid his anti air by lurking down here. Oh, verticality, isn't it cool? Mm. Um, Flying down the gulf. Yes. So we're going to zoom in like this. Turn here. I know I'm giving you a target for your anti air, but if you're doing that, you're not shooting him. You're going to shoot him because that's the obvious choice. They are two squads of one, so we'll go there for the first one. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to set my own Legion S on fire. Yay! So two shots hitting on twos. I can roll them here. Two hits on one running base. Mm -hmm. Energy six, so threes to hurt. So that will be two, a devastator two, so four passives. Very good. And Ronin have a passive of certainly going to be a number six up. That's right. Yeah. So four, six up saves. Uh, you do kill a Ronin. Cool. And it'll be a collateral because I shot a flame back on the building. Mm -hmm. The other bomber will come and do the same thing. Oh, he's gone. There he is. Okay, shadow angle over to here. Not hovering over my own tanks if avoidable. Okay. Two more shots into the next Ronin base. Yeah. Looking for twos. So that's two hits. Energy six, so threes. So that'll be two damage, so four damage. Okay. Um, so there's two more collateral tokens. Oh, my. And 
I did not realise these were so good against Ronin. They are very good against Ronin. Four damage total. I just got two more sixes. No, you did get another one. Okay. Well, that's good for me. But that's, um, do they only get those once per game? I can't remember. They, they're not every, limited, no. Not limited, I can't remember. Uh, so they can fire and start the next round if I win priority. I am now done. Okay. You've got your braze, is it? Yes. So first of all, we're going to search for an objective. I'm just going to roll here. Do you want to scan with him? Um, I'm going to scan with him. Okay. So I'd like to make it Two. five. Ooh. Yes. Well, that's a problem. So they pick that up. Mm -hmm. um, and then we are going to... Hmm. You may as well scan, there's no reason not to, because you have not use it while shooting instead. Or unless you want to cross the road and stand in the middle of it. Mm. You could stand in the middle of the road. No, we're going to scan. Okay. So another five. Okay. Both That's objectives. Decisive. Now you just need to run away with those objectives. Mm. Well, well, well. Um, we've got some collateral to do. Mm hmm. Where do we all start? Well, I'm still not quite done. Oh, you're not done. Sorry, I thought you were. No, I am. I am done. I'm <laughs> actually done. Sorry, that was uh, annoying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, shall we go over here? Yeah. And collateral. So, shall we look? Yeah. So, energy four, six, won't hurt anyone, goes away. Cool. Uh, two on my building? Yes. So that will hurt me once. Uh, I have a four up dodge, which works. And one collapse stays. Uh, one collapse stays and does a point damage to the building, which is marked up. Mm -hmm. And then three here. Shall I roll? Yeah, because you flame the building. Energy four. So that will be a single point of damage to each Legionnaire squad. No damage to you. And they all go away. Any more? That's it. No, okay. Priority turn. Yes, yeah, so you have a plus one essentially. Essentially, yes. Do you know what? Let's just roll on the bridge. The bridge is going to be the dice yeah. tray. So four. Ooh. Six always wins. Six always wins. I am going to take it. That makes sense to me. All right. Okay. Right, so it's turn three. Soph one priority. Soph, you've done lots of very clever things. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We only had yeah, to tell you a few nice. of them. <laughs> well done, Dan. You're playing very well. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Now I knew what I was going to do. That just helped me get there. Dan <laughs> just articulated it into words. Okay. Um, actions. I'm more of a vibes based player anyway. <laughs> so um, I've activated the Brave Groups. And as you can see, these objectives have disappeared as I have got into the transports and disappeared off the board. Um, yeah. It, it, it was the smart move to do. It's um, four victory points straight away. Yeah, straight up. And I think now you're you're kind of on the back foot for victory Very points. Very much so. Um, I'm kind of looking at how to stop you scoring those victory points. See how it goes. We do have some other admin. Your other two braves went into my building over there. Yes. Yeah, so I've, I've... Look out of this gate, which took off before yeah. disposing. That's right. Or after disposing of Braves into there. But we're going to pop our interceptors because I have been informed that once I kill it, um, all the drones just die. Yeah. They don't crash land because they are yeah. small aircraft, but you then remove all of my scout. Uh, you significantly reduce the firepower of the Kodiak, mm -hmm. board presence, and so on. Yeah. So it's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the first one, um, hit on twos. It's got to be a hit. Mr. Cohen, he's dead. He's dead. He doesn't move the fridge, please. Doesn't explode. No, he's not an aircraft. But oh. all these um, aircraft do disappear. Yes. And that is a major headache out of the way. Though you've they've already done much. You've you've kind of deleted two of my walkers. Yeah. So that one is then going to disappear off the board. Okay. I will not get to that. Okay. We've then got the first one next to that little marker and we're going to try and hunt down some bombers. So this is a squadron of twos. You place both of them oh. and then I choose to reaction fire Perfect. any point along your path yeah. if I want to, which I do, obviously. Yeah. Uh, so which anti-air is less useful? These are further forward. So I think I'm going to reaction fire with starting with these three, starting with the back one. Okay, evasion five. I'm going to six this. Okay. Uh, three, becomes fives. So you've basically got up to five lots of 
Yeah. So hitting on sixes with three shots. Exactly. Into the first one. Sixes. One hit. Energy seven. Uh, so armor ten. Threes. That'll be a crit. Two passives, please. Um, very good. I will... Two passives. That will kill. There goes. The crash land won't affect anything. There's nothing there to affect. Mm -hmm. I will then reaction fire with the second rapier. So the back uh, right one from our viewer's perspective. Mm -hmm. So sixes. One hit. A crit. Is this? Yeah. Okay. So that this one has still not fired, and they haven't fired. Okay, so I think that's a headache for both of us yeah, out of the way. Yeah, that's a trade. Yeah. My firebombs are still alive, that's what's important for, for me, at least. Mm. Um, and that will be the end of my activation. Okay. Now well, do you know what your vision is? Um, I need to kill that Rogan, so the firebomb is definitely going to activate. Where else is important? Mortars don't have a close combat attack, mm -hmm. so that's going to suck. Mm -hmm. Um, they want to fire before they die. Can they fire before they die? They could, yeah. They should actually be at the edge here. Yeah. They could shoot, um, and that would be that. They're definitely going to die. They're so going to die. <laughs> Hooray! Um, is there anything useful I could do with their firepower? Or am I better off letting you have that objective and try and go four to make a six all draw? You've got to escape with that. That's not too hard with gates. It isn't, unless I can kill the gates. Um, the tank battle's not really that important anymore. <laughs> We've won it! <laughs> um, I'm going to shoot with the horses. So I'm going to go with the first squad. They are going to try to remove this bird eater. So six shots, mm -hmm. can't see you, so fives, but not ones, so three hits. Sixes, no damage. Second squad. Second squad, I think we're a bit more than that. It's the built-in house foghorn, don't worry about that, it's fine. Um, yeah, same target. So five hits, one damage. Five up passive. No, you do so kill it. Kill the bird eater. And then my fire bombers, unfortunately, are going to have to fly through your flak screen. Uh, but we're going to fire our missiles before we do. Mm -hmm. The first one is going to try and kill off that Roman. So twos. Uh, so I hit one of my own. Ah. So it's randomized. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I hit the middle one, it's already damaged. Excellent. So one each, so on you. Mm -hmm. Three to hurt you. So that'll be two damage on you. I need. Two sixes. So you die. Yeah. Uh, but then a hit on me at energy six. I'm mm -hmm. armor seven. So a three will crit. So I crit and do four damage and just obliterate that face. Uh, and I'll do a single collateral because I shot a flame weapon. Ah, so. okay. Um, and then you've got to move. And then he's got to move up to 36. I think I might not be able to escape the board here, actually. I keep doing this to myself. Yeah, you're not. I won't not. escape even at full speed. Um, is there anything useful we can do? Not really. Uh, we're just going to have to... Yeah, actually, yeah, he's not going to escape. Okay. So both are going to go full speed, over to here. Even they will contribute nothing in turn four. Do you want to reaction it? Fire at them. Yeah, I think this is the time to... Um, Might as well try to get one So we're going to start off with the gate. Yeah, evasion um, five. Yep, yeah, so... Um, what is it? It's a gate. It's a gate. It's a gate. It's a gate. Um, so it's the charged atmosphere on the gate, mm -hmm. uh, which is, excuse me. You can do I it, sorry. find the sheet. Um, in gate, three shots, hitting on sixes, because, yeah. Yeah. Evasions. Well, Alex can do it, so so can I. No. Right. Um, and then we'll go with the uh, gun. The Jaguar. Yeah. So... This is. Where are you? I've got four sheets, and the one I want was hidden. Okay, so it's going to be four. Where are you? Let's see. Oh, six. Four shots. AA two. So it's still sixes, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's going to be sixes. Yeah. 
Nope, no. Any more to throw at them? Nope. Okay, so they get to there. They will not do anything next turn unless you put infantry here. And then they'll fly on the board. Okay. It's going to be like three um, turns so they can do anything. Yeah, uh, they'll, be, they'll be in turn five. And um, that is... The battle of done. You know what you're doing. Um, okay. Where do I... Yeah, I'm going to be activating... Let's let's activate the Ronin. Um, no, actually, it's a tricky one. Do you know what? What? I do need to think. Okay. So I have activated my armor group. Yes. And there's a lot of ifs, whats, ifs, maybes, and buts. Mm -hmm. So that's why some stuff hasn't moved. So first, we've got the tarantulas. We've got two shots going down into the raven. Correct. Yes. Okay. So these guys are going to be hitting on twos. Mm -hmm. That's one hit. Armor 10. That'll kill it. Yeah. Bop goes the raven. Is my evac being removed? Yes, it's how we play these games. Yep. Um, so I, with the gun gate, I have realised it's got two guns, not just the one. It's so. a gun's gate, you see. Mm. Um, so we're going to split fire here. We're going to one into the first rapier, the second one into the second rapier. Cool. So into the front rapier, it's going to be a hit. No. Into the rear one, it's going to be a hit. So out of 15. That will kill it. Yeah. Okay. So I will get one out of the way. And then I'm going to hide. Alex, would you like to reaction fire? Uh, no, because you're like nine hits, aren't you? Or seven yeah. or something? But this is just to stop you shooting at full accuracy. Yeah. Um, we are going to hug that building. Yeah. Because then what we're going to do is we're going to nip, nip out with S. And it also gets somewhere useful. Is that yes. going to be a reaction fire? <laughs> the fives and then twos. I need to basically get two crates to kill you. I need basically two fives and then two fours. Uh, well, I'm not going to get a better line of fire on you, am I? Gonna end, where are you going to end up? Do you know what? I'm going to end up here. Uh, hmm. This is the thing with measuring. Oh, no. I'm going I'm to end up You're going to basically... Fully line of sight thing. I have nothing else to shoot out with him, so I will go and take a shot. Yeah. Where he's here. Uh, I hit you twice. Oh, very nice. Um, MG7. Oh, nine. So twos to hurt, four to crit. That'll be eight crit, so two damage. Okay, two damage, and while I shuffle, I, I need some. Five quick. up passive? Five up passives. Uh, so it is two. Do take two out of my. Dun dun dun. Four? Three, three damage points. Three. So one left. Anything else? That is it for that battle group. Okay, so I'm going to go with my armor over here. I've already done the movement. Uh, I've also activated that condor. I have landed the condor and I've got the katanas into it. Activated this bear to get it out of the way. It wasn't in range to scan anyway. So it does mean I can't get in there with those infantry if they wanted to. Uh, I have moved forward with my, with my rapiers. One of them has not shot yet. It's going to take a pot shot at this gate here. Uh, so threes. Three hits. Mm -hmm. Two to hurt, four to hurt. That's a weird way of rolling dice. Uh, four damage. Five ups. Ooh, so, very nice. It lives with a point of health. Mm. How irritating. The broadsword has rumbled forward. I'm landing the albatross after firing to give myself some cover. So before that, I will clear my fire to your jaguar. Yes. Yes. One shot, hitting number two. Hits. Energy 13. Crit. How much damage? Six. Uh, That's what board swords do. Yep. Yeah. Um, that is a big chunk of points removed, but it's not actually helping with the battle. Mm. And that is the battle group done. Okay. Uh, well, that was my flame option, mm. which was a bit a bit of a shame. We are there's there's no threats from over here. Um. What what have we got? What's what's this like? The albatross. Yeah. Armor ten, six hits, no guns worth mentioning. Okay, so um, I have Devastator. Uh, that's a bird eater. Devastator tank slash walker. So it's it not, is not a tank or a walker. Yeah. The broadsword is a tank or a It is. Um, but is that where I want to be going with it? No. Do you know what? What? I do know what. I don't know what. We are going to. A muffin man. Ah, uh, where are we? These are energy 11. So we're going to try and get some line of sight on those katanas. Rapiers. Rapiers. Um, through, I'm definitely going to be hull down. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah. Um, 
Dan, how are we looking there? Don't know. Fine, I guess. I need fours. You happy? Yeah. Um, we're going... We'll do one into the rear one and one into the front one because the rear yep. one's got a gun poking up. So into the rear one. Hit. No, that's nope. a 13. Uh, and into the front one. No, that's miss. Okay. Uh, and that is that battle group activated. Okay. Um... What have you got? This battle group. Armour. Kodiak. Kodiak. And infantry. That... They've shot infantry. That's... Yes. Well, these guys are contributing nothing at all. Um, we could go and fight your armour eventually. Driving this way up the ramp. Yeah, I mean, we get some speed going up the ramp. Um... What have you got left to activate? I've got my Ronin. Yes. And that's pretty much it. Okay. I can do nothing to really influence that. You can do really nothing to influence what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So we may as well do some searching. It's not okay. very exciting. I'm going to scan with the bear. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to search with the healthy base. So we are on turn... What turn are we on? Three. Three. So Three. finding it on a five. five or four because the scan token. Yes. I have found the nuke. Mm. For better or worse. The other base can uh, do something else. This has got one hit left, right? Mm hmm. Move the edge, use reduced to fire our solitary assault rifle at it. Uh, this will be a three and then a six. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll also fire a missile launcher at that tarantula. Yeah. Missile launcher first on a two. Hits. Energy nine. I'm a 13. Fours. Nope. And then into the gate. Threes. Nope. They are not target one shot. They're basically bolt action as well as I can tell. Mm. Or muzzle loaded. <laughs> okay, um, well, Ronin. The Ronin pie. So we're going to put. Uh, I don't really know how mortar teams work. What, they've got six hits per base? Six hits per base. Mm -hmm. They are resilient. Uh, because it's close quarters, you don't allocate it to a model, you allocate it to a squad. Okay. And it's applied sequentially. So currently they're identical, you don't get the targets. Okay, so we've got bioatomizers and energy blades. So what we're going to do is we're going to put two Ronin into one squad, one squad and the Ronin and by bi Bimo. bloke yeah. um, into the other. Okay, so first Ronin, let me just get my head around how these work. So I'll read it out. So they have a um, bioatomizer and energy blade. So three shots. So it's going to be six shots total. Yeah. Um, you don't roll the hits, it's close quarters. Yeah. So you just hit me. I have armor seven. Okay. Um, so these are energy four. Can't crit me, but threes will hurt. And sixes do two additional damage for a bioatomizer. Nice. So I think that is going to be. What was that? Uh, five damage. Five damage, which will leave one base on one hit. If you can just put a dice next to them for me. Okay. So they're gone, and one is on the... No, uh, white, they, one base took five damage, they have six health each. Oh, right. Okay, so that's... He was he taken one damage anyway. Uh, what did he have? What did he have the wrong? No, the building taken a damage. Oh, the yeah. building had taken damage. Uh -huh. So there's one still here. Okay. So sixes do just one additional damage. Two or... additional damage. I think for the bioatomizers. Oh. So oh. in which case that would have done... They would have done six between them. Oh, yeah, so I've They would have done seven. Seven damage. So one base is dead. One yeah. base is taken. One hit. Yeah. Because yeah, they do Lost three. Below. They do three damage basically per yeah. six. Oh, okay. Thanks, team. Really it takes a village to raise a Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> and then two energy blades. Um, can you get to roll with all your close combat weapons? Yeah, because these don't have all. Does it? I know. So that will just be two more damage. Yeah. So two more damage. So taken three. Oh, they destroy a six. Uh, it then means a six to what? Destroy a six. Uh, if they mind. use it, that's not their CQ profile. Oh, God, that's if you're smacking a tank. Thank you. No worries. Um, yeah, it's just yeah. two damage. Yeah. So that, that base will need to take a fortitude check. At the end of the battle, yes. Yep. And then we've then got, thank you guys at home for being so patient with me. We've a then single. got a single bioatomizer. Uh, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five damage. Yep, so it'll be one base on one hit. And then your power sword. Energy blade. We'll kill it. Yeah. And then we've got the web projector, four shots at energy three. Which one? Is it? This one. Okay. So that will be three sevens. So it'll be three damage. So um, damage three hits. And then you can teleport them. Yes. You just set them up within the building, wherever you want. Okay. Um, 
yeah, there. Nice, nice in line of sight. Yes, and that's it. They've got three hits remaining. We yeah, can someone pass me a tiny die. Uh, within two. No, actually, oh. they they don't take any damage, so I do this instead of doing damage. Okay, so a full health base then, if you did no damage to this. Yeah. It just bit set up there. No, actually, I'm going to I'm going to kick them in the building and do three damage. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, you have the option of damage or. Yeah. Anything else in their bathroom? That's all. So, first squad, Fortitude 4 plus. They are staying. Second squad, Fortitude 4 plus. They are leaving. So, I set them up within two of the, bu within two of the building. I don't know where I want to go. Home, I think. I don't really want to go anywhere with them, really. I'd, I'd like to stay where I am, that's okay, but it's not. Uh, so, we're going to go to anywhere useful. We're just going to go back in the building and make your searching harder anyway, so we'll go to there. Um, fine. This is fine. Anything else for you? That's, that group? that's me done. Cool, so I've got my spec ops there. They're both going to search. Mm -hmm. Or are they? Um, well, for the first one, we'll search. So finding it on a five. Nope. Second one, just in here, could basically put two engine iron shots into the gate and try and kill it. Um, Searching is more useful, I think. No. All I've got left is my armour. Uh, I have shot my anti-air. Oh, the Kodiak. Thank you. Glad you are paying attention now. Oh, and my... Uh... <laughs> All these battle groups! Uh, what am I doing with him? He's range 24. Doesn't have a scout anymore. <laughs> which I think is a crying shame. Can't really hit anything either. Nope. Um, he will get back his transport. Right. Take off. And it will go where else is going to be useful. We go over to here. And it will then land again. Ready to dispense of. Ready to spit him out the following turn. Um, Armour in the middle and the Kodiak. What's the Kodiak going to do? I don't. Um, I could try and remove those, I guess. I could try and remove those. I can't see either, so it's kind of just fishing for a five. Any gates on the ground? No! That's irritating. Uh, almost as planned. Yes. Uh, we're going to go centre on him. Okay. So looking for a five. Nope, so it's an indirect hit, so energy 11 on that one. Uh, that will be a crit. Mm -hmm. Or 16, but you do get your passives. Oh, well, whatever. And my armour. 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 We're just going to hide from the camera. <laughs> camera shy. Yes. I will find you. Probably looks very cool from some angles. And invisible from others. Mm, most. Yes. And then two to there, three to there. We're definitely relevant. Um... That is just going to go over here. And parking conveniently. Yep. Yeah. And the vulture is going to buzz round over to here. Um, none of their railguns could contribute anything at all, I don't think. Nope. I'm not going to destroy that building. Collateral's not going to hurt you. So there's literally no point firing their shots because I can't see anything at all. So I'm done. Cool. Very it confidently. Priority roll. Uh, collateral damage first. Oh yes. There's one and one. Okay. Uh, which one first? I shall roll this one. Very good. You have ro rolled poorly. Oh. This one. I have also rolled poorly, but also well for me. Ah. Uh, that is it for collateral damage, I think. Priority into turn four, then. No. Yes. Sophie's priority. Sophie's priority. Cool. I will chuck a card this card, but we will be back. <laughs> oh! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that card throw. <laughs> and we will be back in turn four. So we're into turn four. Turn four. Turn four. Uh, lots of things have happened, or they've been planned to happen. Mm. 
So me and Alex were discussing while Soph went away, and we were like, oh yes, this is the clever play. I wonder if Soph will figure it out. And then Soph did a cleverer <laughs> play. <laughs> Her play is, we'll go through it in a moment, but it's very upsetting. <laughs> What are you doing? What battle group? So we've activated the Braves again. Um, and do you know what? When when Lawrence wrote the list for me, I was like, Braves, interesting that we're taking them. I thought the Rona would be enough. No, they're them. They, you they need the line me. of, I'm not you're in his Pungari, but mm. that's not the point. We need the dabbing Braves. <laughs> yes, so we are, we've activated the Braves. I've actually come out with the Gate Spire. That's very clever. With the transport, and then jumped into the building with the nuke. So, and... Now I outnumber you, leaving the building is going to be a problem. It's going to be a massive problem. And explain to the boys and girls at home um, what happens if you fail your fortitude test. So when I want to leave, because I'm outnumbered based on the number of units in the building, I make a fortitude test, which is a 4 plus for Legionnaires. If I fail, I take a point of damage for every point I fail it by, and I leave any objectives I'm carrying behind. And honestly, at that point, I can't win. But, so it's going to be a four up roll to, to even stay in the game. It's, it's going to be hard for you to win. It's not impossible. There, there is another option, Alex. Which is detonate the nuke. Detonate, detonate the nuke. nuke. It would Doesn't that make things better? But it would be funnier. It would be funny. And we can start packing away mid game. <laughs> <laughs> um, Either way, that's yeah. my activation at the moment. Your activation, you got over here, yeah. very clever play, huge problem for me. They're obviously not attacking, so you don't have rapid insertion. Mm -hmm. You've got your Braves over there to murder my three remaining mortars, and you activated your interceptor here as well. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to try and shoot down one of your fire bombers because flaming infantry in the building is tough. Yes. So we'll start off with that. Yeah. Four shots, I need fives. To hit. One. That's all you need. Armor ten. How many hits? One. Okay, so on a three up. Yeah. It's dead. Okay. Crashing won't matter, but it is removed. Yes. So that is a headache out of the way. Yeah. And so Wolf removes his gate. Yes. Um, so this gate flew over. Um, and used field repairs. Yes, I did use field repairs. What did you do, Alex? I guess I've it. Um, mainly out of spite. Yeah. <laughs> I've got one card. You might as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I just wanted it not to get shot down by AA. I was planning on placing it somewhere else, but... Actually, I was going to place it next to you, so I was like, ooh, reaction fire, <laughs> um, just in case he decided to leave. Do you want to kill my, uh, kill my mortars? I certainly do. Enough talking. Let's let's do the dice, do the talking. So, Less talking, more dicing. Um, these are six attacks total. Um, energy four. But a single six will do three damage. No, no, these are not. These oh, are these are the Braves. My apologies. Braves. Um, they are still dead. Yeah. So I'm going to kill that unit. Yep. And that is that activation. Okay. Um, my first activation is, it's, again, not only is it worrying, it has to be first, because to win I have to get the Albatross and move it this turn. Mm. He'll leave, see if it matters in the following turn. Um, really, there's no point beating around the bush. Fortitude test for the guys carrying Nuke on a 4+. plus. They take three points of damage, and you can have this. They do leave. They yeah. get into the bear to be safe. Uh, why not? <laughs> Uh, two of them making out the building, the other three are cut down, and you just grab the nuke off them. Mm. Um, Did the other people want to leave? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Uh, well, they're just going to try to shoot some Braves. They're going to br out-brave the Braves and shoot the Braves. I will shoot a Brave with my musket. Mm. So one shot on a six. Nope. <laughs> um, that's a problem. Mm. It's the battle group as well. Oh, uh, that's the entire battle group. I mean, do you it, want to try leaving with... I just did it oh, well. They, just... they took a shot, yeah. but it doesn't make any difference. Okay. Um, my Ronin are going to try and find that objective. Okay, so we are on turn four, so you're finding it on a... Four. Four. Three, even three. You find it. Mm -hmm. Found an objective. And... That's two actions, but next turn they can just go with their remote gateway back into, I was about to say the warp, back into wherever they come from yeah. and score that one, the shorp. Um, it's academic. I will see if I can find this, this objective. Mm -hmm. So first squad, find, find it. it. But at that point, I am ready to concede because I'm going to get one point here. Mm -hmm. I could maybe get two if I could land this, survive the returning fire, get in get off the boards, I have no ability to take that back. Even if I did, I'd get one point from it. 
Also, if it looks really dicey, you're probably going to set it off. Because it denies yeah. you one point, but denies me my army. Yeah. Um, In fact, I was going to set it off next turn anyway. Okay. Just... Good game. Well played, well played. <laughs> um, all right, we'll wrap up and then we'll go into a post-game and see how we feel. That was a game. Very well played, Soph. Very clever. <laughs> so smart. Mm. So smart. It was, it was close. It was close. How, how did you find me playing the Shaltari rather than Lawrence? What do I do differently that he doesn't? <laughs> you fire one gun on your gun gate rather than two for half the game. Um, it was one time. It's got two guns! It was twice. You fired it oh. first properly round three. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you different different to playing Laws. To be fair, I, oh, sure. okay, so Shaltari, yeah. how do you find playing the Shaltari? Oh, they're <laughs> Um, forgetting about this, getting greedy, shooting, shooting the walker, yes he had a flame weapon, but whatever. If I had shot this, I would still be in the game. And I think the broadsword would delete it as well. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's what, it's armour 14, 4 hits or something? Armour 13, yeah. 4 hits? Um, yeah, that's a good Armour 13, 4 hits. If it's less than 6 hits, the broadsword doesn't care, so. Yeah. Uh, that would have been the sensible thing to do, with the gift of hindsight. Um... God, they're a headache. They're really cool. They're a really cool army to play against. Um, I really like them. <laughs> it was, it was. I've been eyeing them up as a secondary army, and I was like, oh, but it may be a bit too complex. But actually, playing and playing, jumping in straight with the seventeen fifty list, mm. um, good. And a list with toys as well. It's not just a starter box and so yeah. on. You've got some fun things to play with here. Yeah, I thought. Do you know, what? I thought the tarantulas were going to be really, really decisive in that because I know you like bringing your armor. Um, actually, they didn't really do much. They were sort of there. I'm, I've yeah. been trying to make this point to a few friends who play Drop Zone locally, but um, the armour battle is cool. The armour battle is fun. Uh, it's not actually all that important for winning missions. Because uh, what of my armour did you kill? Some rapiers? Yeah. The, the anti-air that threatened my ability to claim objectives. Yeah. You killed a commander, uh, which was a big deal. Uh, maybe I could have hidden him slightly better, but not against 48-inch move. Energy 10 shots, really. Um, I put, how many points are those? How many points is your drone? Drone commander is... He must be verging on 200. Um, one, one, five, five. He's level 0 commander, so 155. Five. Yeah, exactly. So I had to put 240 points of interceptor. Yeah, and even then, only a damn. Uh, it took you to your turn longer than it should have, I guess. Um, I probably should have guarded him better with anti-air. I should have made sure the condor was, or the albatross was an inch closer, so I could rescue him. Like it's common knowledge that if you field a drone base, you basically need an albatross on standby to rescue him for when that happens. Oh, uh, okay. But he was an inch too far away to be able to do it. So it is what it is. Um, learning to play with a new toy, which is fair enough. Yeah. But once that died, all my scouts died, the Kodiak's firepower turned off, which is expected. Uh, but again, actually, yeah, uh, tank battles don't win wars or don't win these games. Yeah, um, and being able to solidly have the better infantry, um, like, okay, I didn't go into your spec ops, but they're not, spec ops aren't all that. The spec ops would have maybe been fine. They do have an energy, they do have five energy five attacks each. Oh, okay. What I point me, point me putting them there was in the hope that you would then send your Ronin in, I would then win priority and get to fight at full effectiveness the following turn. I didn't think you'd just go around me and go into that building instead. <laughs> yeah, there's more to nasty. Yes. Because <laughs> uh, my commander. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, that, that was a good play. Um, this isn't my normal list, for what it's worth. My normal list is a uh, an all flyer list. It has a grand total of two ground vehicles, which I want to play you at some point with. I do. I in fact I want to build up some. I could have built up loads of AA to try and no. I'm going to be investing in my own fighters, and I've also just watched Top Gun for the first time. Okay. So I really want to do this. <laughs> is that going to be your resistance? That'll then? be my resistance. So we'll have bombers. We'll have um, tempests. Yeah, Tempests will have um, all my normal gunships. Um, it'll be fun. Mm -hmm. It'll be really good fun. What did you think of the mission? I really like the mission. Yeah. Um, interesting to play without my... So for those of you who've seen... Who've, uh, 
not only playing me locally, uh, but I've seen. Uh, I think I've only really done it in one battle report. I think you have, but it's, it's enough for it to be permanently tattooed into my brain. Yes, it, it's with the barrel bombers is I just remove buildings. Yeah. Um, that's my go-to play with the resistance. So having this where I don't have to remove the building, it's quite interesting. Mm. Yeah. Or in fact can't. Like, Shaltari can't really do demolitions as far as I know. Mm. Um, but also you don't really need to because you've got lots of armor 9 infantry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're great. Um... Yeah, I, I actually expected the walkers to be a little bit more resilient than they were. Like, it took you one turn to just kill kill my commander, but... I mean, oh, well, so it's here. Um, three up saves, you're going to fail a third of them. Yeah. Uh, and the NG-10 actually works quite well against Sheltari. Uh, obviously, it bounces hard off resistance armour. Mm. Uh, PHR don't care either. Um, but yeah, it's... That that can do it. The broadsword obviously deletes split points out, but that's its purpose. Yeah. Uh, how did you find it? Because I know it's it's infamous already in our local group. I like it. It deleted one thing, and I gave you targets for it to shoot at. Yeah. Great. Um, it does one thing a turn. Um, you know, there's loads of counterplay to it. You know, it's one slow moving unit. Having played with slow moving units. Yeah. I know the weaknesses of them. And again, all the anti armor is doing here had no impact over here, yeah. and this is what mostly won you the game. Yeah. Once these you know, these two objectives you got out, yeah. Broadsword couldn't do anything about that. So yeah, I think they're fine. Don't need a nerf. They're yeah. fine at 85 points. No, no, no. 85 no. points? 85 points, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no. No, they're fine, they're fine. They're no, 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 I can only take your first answer, they're fine. I'm not sure how tough they are. The official bottom of the barrel stance is that Broadswords are fine. Outvoted. <laughs> two to one. Get out your house. <laughs> I just block Alex off. Yeah. <laughs> it comes the so show. Yay! Yay. Broadsides are bad. There we go. <laughs> well, no, they're really good. That's yeah, they're the very, problem. very good. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but I think I think really spicy mission with the nuke. We didn't see it go off this time, but I would love to play it again. Oh, we will. Yeah. It's it's a mainstay in the in the events I'm running. Uh, oh, speaking of, uh, this will go up before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely before the end of June. We are running another drop zone event. Uh, we are running this one on the 29th of June at Firestorm Games in Cardiff. Uh, lovely venue if you've never been there. It's basically non-Games Workshop Warhammer World. Is that about right? Like massive store, it, it's, lots it's, of tables. It's an old Lamborghini yeah. um, showroom, so it's a big open... Um, well wet place. Mm -hmm. Air conditioned. Air conditioned, that is a, a massive bar. selling point and a bar as well. So. Uh, hot food. It sells all kinds of games. This is how it's also how we end up getting into drop zone. Yes, yeah. yes, we were basically got hard sold drop zone by a number of staff. We turned up early to a gaming day, couldn't play yet. Well, I was run around the store. Oh, these look quite nice. Got a sale, half hour sales <laughs> pitch from a guy with bastard. <laughs> so that's where the event is. It is a place that you can buy a drop zone and drop fleet over the counter. Uh, there are up to 20 spaces. There's a drop fleet event happening the same day. Which so if you trying. prefer drop fleet over drop zone or want to try the other one, Plans to have it all be basically one big drop verse event. So yes, 29th of June, there is a link in the description. Uh, it'd be great if you could come, we'd love to see you. Um, and it will have this mission. And this board, actually. So if you want to play on a very nice board, this will be there too. Yes. Wonderful. Well, that's all I've got to add. Um, other than uh, if you do want to buy any drop zone, uh, drop fleet stuff, you can buy it through Firestorm in our affiliate link uh, down below. That really helps out us out. Um, on the channel, and we spend all that money on more drops. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> as always, we don't save any money. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah. just buy more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that that's um, anything we we do put back into the channel. Um, there is, of course, our Patreon, but also if you want to just help us out, a like, a subscribe, say hi in the comments. Mm. We always read them. We all lo always love reading your comments. Pick a stance on the drops on the uh, the broadsword topic. <laughs> broadsword <laughs> bad. <laughs> What's up? Boo. <laughs> Boo. The boo sword, more boo like. Sword. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, well, that's everything from me. So it's goodbye from me, Sophie. It's goodbye from me, Alex. Me, Dan. Bye from the barrel.